Hi, we are taking a look at how we can use NanoNets in Zapier to rename PDF files based on content. We will be using an invoice for this demonstration. As you can see, I have created two folders in my drive here. One is Zapier input, the other is Zapier output. The task here is to detect whenever new invoices arrive in Zapier input and then use NanoNet OCR to extract line items from these invoices and finally renaming the invoices and putting them in Zapier output. I'll be guiding you through the whole process here. Our starting point will be a Zap template. A link to this template is in the description as well. So let us get started. The first step here will be adding a Google Drive account. So I'll be adding the one which is associated with the two folders. Yeah, we'll test the trigger and try to get whatever files are already in the folder. For the purpose of this demo, you can see that I have already added a file here. So this is an invoice framework, how a typical invoice looks like. Moving on, we need to authenticate our NanoNets account. So basically what you do is you go on apps.nanonets.com slash keys. Let me do that. And basically once you are signed in, you go to account info, API keys, and you use your API key to authenticate yourself. Yeah, so the file that we need to attach will be this particular object called file from the first step. And the application ID is basically the model ID from NanoNets and since we are using an invoice here, we need to make sure that the model ID that we use here is pertaining to an invoice use case. So let me just ensure that. As you can see that in the description here, this particular model is an invoices use case model. So I'll just copy the model ID. I'll choose that and I'll continue. Let us test what happens now. Yeah, so NanoNets OCR has extracted line items from the invoice and now we can use any of these detected line items to rename our PDF file, which is what we'll be doing in the third step. So let's continue, start the third step. I'll again authenticate myself with the same Google account where the Zapier output folder is located. Yeah. So we need to make sure here that the file which we want to add, we need to basically specify the ID of that file, which is a field which is passed in the first step. So we go to the first step here. We search for the ID field, which is this one. And yeah, this works. What we'll do now is uh, we can leave this blank. 
now the file name we can specify ourselves using the line items from step two suppose i want to concatenate the buyer name the seller name and say the invoice amount i can do that so this will be the file name for any invoice arriving in zapier input i choose my folder here zapier output continue before testing let us just take a look at what is inside zapier output right now as you can see zapier output is currently empty and testing the action here will basically put a file in zapier output and it will be renamed according to whatever we have specified so yeah you can see the same invoice now but it has a naming format which we have specified and which has been extracted from the invoice itself using nanonet thanks